A Native American adolescent who was denied the right to wear a holy eagle feather on her graduation cap filed a lawsuit against her high school for $50,000. Oklahoman Lena Black, who was scheduled to graduate in May 2022, filed a lawsuit against Broke in Arrows Public Schools when administrators accosted her and removed her eagle feather. Black, an Oto Missouri tribe member, was instructed to remove the plume from her cap, which hung just over her tassel, since she had not received permission to wear it. Two school employees attempted to forcefully remove the eagle plume, according to the lawsuit, and this caused the feather to get damaged. As school officials continued to grab at her eagle plume and motherboard, Black experienced an anxiety attack and collapsed on the ground, trying to defend herself and her feather. The complaint claimed that she ultimately crossed the graduation stage holding the feather. As other students were permitted to wear crosses, high jabs, secular stoles, cords, and other objects to graduation, the no graduate claims that her First Amendment rights were infringed. Since I was three years old, my eagle plume has played a role in my cultural and spiritual rituals. She claimed, according to the Native American Rights Fund, who is representing her, I wore this plume on graduation day in recognition of my academic achievement and to carry the prayers of my Odo Missouri community with me. The law protects my right to wear this eagle plume at my graduation, and school administrators had no right to forcibly remove it from my cap, the student said. She violated the dress code, according to the school, since she didn't get permission to wear the feather during the ceremony. According to CNN, the Oklahoman claimed she was unaware that she needed to follow a specific procedure. Before gaining official clearance, the school asked students who wished to change their graduation clothing to submit an application, along with a photo of the item, and to visit with the Native American Education Coordinator or Principal. According to CNN, Black claimed that the Native American coordinator was absent when she asked a teacher whether she may wear an eagle feather and that the instructor assured her that she would be all right. The former pupil is now requesting $50,000 in damages, and her lawyer, Morgan Saunders, claimed that the case exemplifies how Native Americans are still subjected to discrimination. According to the Native American Rights Fund, Governor Kevin Stitt recently vetoed legislation that would have made it unlawful for schools to discriminate in graduation attire. According to the fund, the bill would have reaffirmed Native American students' rights to wear tribal regalia at graduations, an important protection in the state with the second-highest concentration of American Indians. Following his veto, Governor Stitt proposed that this matter be settled at the district level instead. According to Pipestem law partner Wilson Pipestem, this lawsuit demonstrates why these decisions cannot be left up to individual school districts. Native students will continue to be forced to seek justice in the courts after their rights have been violated and their graduation ceremonies have long since passed. The state must provide clarification in this regard. Nearly 40 Native American tribes reside in Oklahoma.